uh, Frank Chester, and I was here to present my work on the seven. What is that work? Um, it's finding um, the uh, seven-sided form that's not been found before, and it deals with time, which is uh, usually two-dimensional, and I put it into the third dimension. How do you do that? A lot of work. <laughs> Seven and a half years of work, that's how you do it. You have to work every day. So, uh, what made you interested in that theme? Um, I, I came to the Gerthianum for the first English conference, and they had in the foyer a model of the first Gerthianum and all their capitals. And I saw those capitals, and the first one, which is Saturn, um, caught my eye. So two years later, I started to work on a seven-sided form because that capital was based on seven. And Rita Steiner's work in the Gertiana is oh, seven is everywhere, but it's not three-dimensional. And that's why I was interested in the third dimension because I have a background in sculpture. So two years after I left here, I started to work on it, and I've been working on it ever since. But what's the main thing that you have uh come to through this work? That it's the geometry of the human heart. Hmm. It's the way the heart was designed with geometry. And Rilla Steiner said that when a divine being has an idea and it becomes manifested, right in the middle is geometry. And actually geometry is the last of the clairvoyance we lost. So geometry will be the first step in uh, developing clairvoyance consciously. So being here at the Right in the Middle conference, uh, what is your impression of the conference? Oh, it's just great. I'm really glad I came here and I like all the youth. There are hundreds of youth here and that's why I came. I came here for the youth. Uh, I can inspire them or get them going on some kind of project. Um, they can do that when they're young, not wait until they're 60 before they start something. You gave quite an interesting presentation at your lecture today, um, but I guess you will have more time in your workshop. Is it any special things that you will present only in your workshop? Yes. Um, I present my process, and my process is based on the four elements, earth, water, air, and fire, and how they are used to transform form. And so I'm trying to teach other people how that works because in that process of using the elements, the four elements, there's a chance of finding out where a form is in manifestation in the world. And that's how I found the heart. Um, if they have the same spirit that I have, I would be very, very pleased. And that spirit is to start doing something, uh, which I call active meditation. Other people need to do.